Uh, my name is Anthony Ianni. I'm a former Michigan State basketball player, and I'm also the first Division One college basketball player uh, with autism in NCAA history. One of them. And uh, when I was five years old, um, doctors and psychiatrists told my parents that you know I would barely uh, succeed at anything in life. They told them I would barely graduate from high school, never go to college, never be an athlete, and eventually, when I was done with high school, I was going to be placed into a group home with other kids like myself. And I wasn't told that story until my freshman year of high school, so that kind of became my motivation to prove those people and any other doubters and naysayers that had my life wrong. You know, I've been on, I was a walk-on here in my first two years in Michigan State, and you know, in August 2011, uh, two days about before we started classes here at Michigan State, uh, Coach Rizzo called me into his office and told me that he was 99% sure I was going to be on a full-ride scholarship this year. And you know, when I was told that, you know, I kind of got really emotional because I worked so hard to earn a scholarship here. And I think me being awarded that full ride scholarship proved that the harder you work, the more you do earn in life. You know, my passion for speaking, it's, you know, it was like basketball. Um, you know, I, I love basketball. I had such a great passion for it. And I kind of taken that over to, you know, the speaking now, um, mainly because, you know, I have such a great passion for it with going on the road, traveling to places I've never been to, and meeting people that I've never met before. And I remember just sitting um, with my wife at the time, and I told her, I said, you know, this is my calling card, and I felt like that this is where I needed to be. And, you know, I don't just go out in communities and speak for, you know, people with autism. I speak out for everybody, you know, that's been affected by autism or um, by bullying or even just people who are going through tough times. And you know, need some inspiration and hope in their lives. And that's what I try to bring to them. And, you know, I always tell people in the summertime or the springtime, even the fall, you won't see me on a basketball court. You're looking for me, you know, I'm out playing on the golf course, playing 18 with my friends and even family. And, you know, I've kind of started playing golf now for a little over a year, but it's just something that I love to do. And, you know, it's relaxing. It's not as physical in your body as basketball would be. And, you know, whenever you're stressed out, golf is that one sport to kind of just, you know, ease your mind and not worry about things in life. My message as a motivational speaker are three letters that stand for three words, which is L-Y-D. Um, that stands for live your dreams. Anything is possible because the impossible is nothing. And if you have a dream or a goal that you want to achieve, go after it. Do what we love to do because we believe in each other and we're not afraid to fail things in life. But more importantly, don't ever give up on one another. Always believe in yourself and believe in others every day.